I want to begin by tossing out a question, and the, my friends here had no idea I was going to do it. I'm really curious about what we make of the final two lines of John Ashbery's poem, Some Trees. Uh, we've talked about that poem at great length. Uh, we haven't maybe in recent years because we spent so much, so much focus on it uh, in the early years. It's kind of an anthemic poem. Um, it's a lovely poem. Uh, it's a poem for all occasions. But the last two lines, I will read the last stanza, but I'm curious, starting with Gabe, what you make of the last two lines. And by the way, do they speak to us? Speaking of the closer you look, the more you find. Do they speak to us differently, uniquely and specifically right now? So I'll read the last stanza of Some Trees and ask Gabe to start with the last two lines. And glad not to have invented such comeliness, we are surrounded, a silence already filled with noises, a canvas on which emerges a chorus of smiles, a winter morning placed in a puzzling light and moving. Our days put on such reticence, these accents seem their own defense. So the lines I'm curious about, Gabe, are our days put on such reticence, these accents seem their own defense. And following Gabe, I'm curious to hear what Anna thinks of those last two lines. So Gabe, take it away. What do you think? Yeah, I think I think with lines like these, I can only probably populate with questions more than give direct answers. But I'm, I'm wondering like what it means for a day to be hesitant, like reticent, uh, reserved, hesitant. And I, I think of like um, the, the noise populating a kind of ordinary day, right? Like that's what it seems like these, the silence is kind of filled with noises. Um, I don't know, I, I, I'm just curious about these lines because I think they like describe a relationship to time that is like really quite interesting. And then I think you are connecting to the contemporary moments. I'm also kind of thinking about stillness and kind of days seeming similar to each other, but having an internal geometry that's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, know, right there. <clears throat> and these accents we've always taken, we, uh, people who read Ash very closely, critics, and certainly in my poem, we've always taken that to be a metapoetic reference, that it refers finally to the poem as it's kind of painted on the canvas of the of the paper that's written on or typed. And if that, if these accents seem their own defense, it suggests a kind of autotealism, a, a kind of a 1950s style attitude that the poem is what it is, and that is it, that everything you needed to know about it, you would find right there. That's the new critical autotealism. So these accents seem their own defense. It's kind of like a slightly slant, uh, you know, slanted, um, somewhat satirical, poke at the literary critical education that's, that this sophomore or junior at Harvard was getting at the time. But at the same time, Gabe, as you point out, our days put a, our days don't suggest that they are spent entirely in the poem. Our days strikes me at least as referring externally to the world around it. Yeah, and so that's the hard part of this. Our days put on such reticence that the autotealism is reinforced. It's very hard. Anna, what do you think? Yeah, I've always read that to be, and, and your point about Ashbery being, writing this poem kind of in that sort of new critical moment, like reinforces this for me. Um, when I was a, a young person in school, the way I learned to like read and scan poetry was by literally like doing like a scansion on a line, like marking the accents, marking the stresses and the beats, um, like of the actual poem. Yeah. So I wonder if maybe these accents seem their own defense is, is a way to kind of think about accents as in like a speech act, like an act of speech, but maybe also as an act of that kind of engagement with the poem. Like, I don't know how useful like scansion is anymore, like as a skill, I don't know how many people really still do it, but I think the idea that um, like to perform a kind of engagement with a poem that's literally marking it on the page, like yourself as a reader, like whatever that means for you, um, that might be a kind of uh, invitation that Ashbery is giving us to 
um, not just read this poem, not just speak this poem in whatever accented speech you possess, but to also literally market yourself. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's great. 